Hello, everybody. I am Landcard, and since I just recently got this new mod house, it's amazing, isn't it? But I decided what better way to make a video for my new house than to do the Mr. Crayfish furniture mod. It's perfect, right? Let's put some furniture in there, and it'll be all good to go. So, let's start. So first, we have normal fence. Oh, also, I'll go over the crafting recipes at the end. Oh. We have normal fence here that goes all the way around this light post right here. And then we have a bird feeder. A mailbox, which you can set, once you set the owner of it to you, you can put mail in it. Or your friends can put mail in it for you, and no one can steal it. Uh, oh, it. And then... Well, we got a tap here, and it'll make water come out. We got a stone path, and we got hedges all around the side. And then let's say you have something you really, really want to protect. We, uh, you can put electrical fence outside, or like around something. And if we go and get a spawn egg, that'll do a creeper. Look what happens. Oh wait. <laughs> Oops. They immediately start burning and die. How wonderful. Um, for example. Yeah. Not very nice, is it? Anyways, uh, over here I have a package of envelopes, so I can show you how this works. So if I open up the package, like not looking at the ground, just like straight up in the air, you can put something in it, so I'm gonna give this person some grass. And then you sign it, and it'll sign. And you just go up to somebody's mailbox and put it in there, and then boom. But since it's my mailbox, I can take it out, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? I forgot to show this, but uh, for admins that need to see into your mailbox, like on servers, there's the hammer. And if you use the hammer, it'll, it'll make you break it. Oh. Crouch, right? There we go. So now that they can see your mail, so but that isn't craftable. Only like admins have that. All right, so I'm uh, moving on. Oh, I also forgot. Go about. Amazing, isn't it? Do you like the blue jello? He doesn't have an answer. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, I got this all set up and everything. So here's the test room, but not really. It's All the rooms are actually being used. So first, let's go in this room. So in here, we have a, uh, a computer. And then if you right-click on it, you get Mine Bay. You can buy stuff for emeralds. Oh, let's get some emeralds. Oh, that looks cool. Emeralds in there. Boom. You get the eye tone. Pretty cool, isn't it? And then the second thing, the printer. I find this really interesting. So if I get a book. stuff in it. Like sign. So close and then if we put it in the printer, it will automatically make a copy of it. And there's ink cartridges in the printer. I'll show everything else and then when it's finished you can look at it. And then over here we have uh, a toilet. And you can press on far and it doesn't work for me. And then a bathtub, a, a sink, and a shower. So that's pretty cool. So the way you set up uh, the sink is you have to put 3x3 three three water under it and then the bathtub you just do the same thing, just uh, longer because it's two blocks. 
and then it, whenever you right click on it, it'll give you uh, water. There's our book. So, now there's one thing I haven't tried. I want to see if it works with the enchantment books. Does it appear to be working? Well, that sucks. Oh, well. yeah. So now on to the next room. Blue Jello. Uh, starting off, we have these cool ceiling lights. You need to right click on them. They provide power or power of light. Uh, stone table, and I put. Sorry, my mics. So. so we have stone table, and then we got uh, stone chairs, two wood chairs, and then we have these blind things. But they, I think you're only supposed to use them with glass panes. But you just hook them up to where like you right click them, and then they'll they'll give you privacy. So it's pretty cool. So yes, and I do know that they work on the other side, so that's why I think that. You need glass panes. So if I close all of that, and I go on the other side, you'll see it shows the actual animation. So that's pretty cool. And then over here we have a TV which only has three stations. But yes, we got a couch here, which is a corner couch, which is the best. So that's pretty cool. Did I ever say Christmas tree? Well, Christmas tree, and we got presents around the tree. So we can sign these. This is how the presents work. If we get something, and then we right click with it, just like the envelope, and then click wrap, boom, and then you set it on the ground. When you click it, you get that item. Which is pretty cool. And then right here we have a stereo, and a bunch of two coffee tables and two normal tables. So the stereo. You just right click and it'll work like uh re not record player. Jukebox. But it's a lot easier to control. So And then the way you stop it is you just hold down shift and you right click it and it'll turn off. Uh okay, yes, yeah, so next room. And here, uh we have a smoke detector. And what it does is, is whenever there's a fire It'll start beeping really loud. I'll show you. It doesn't, the fire doesn't have to be going for very long for it to go off. See? So, that's pretty cool. Sometimes it continues to go off, so you gotta break it and put a new one. Okay. Uh, over here we have a microwave. I'm not sure how this works here. not be appear to be working whatever and then we have dishwasher some of the stuff never used before I don't understand this so here we can try this oh, it only takes one bucket okay let's get a diamond pick There it is. Do I need to get all those? I'll try this then. Shovel. Sword. Bow. I forget what the other ones are. Axe and hoe. Uh, 
Right now, what am I doing wrong? Does it need like a lava bucket? A lot of them. Okay. We could try a fuel bucket. No, okay, whatever. So moving on. Uh, we have a fridge right here. So you can store stuff in here. Mainly food, but you can almost put anything in there. And then the second one is the freezer. And you got a cooling pack. Now the cool thing about the freezer is, is it finally gives you something to do with your rotten flesh. So if you right click and then put it in there. You'll see it'll turn it into flesh. And then if you get a furnace. Poison young and you get a lot of points back. So that's pretty cool. Stop that. Okay. And then uh, other things you can do in the freezer. I'm pretty sure if you get a slime ball, it'll turn into a snowball. There's a lot more, but I forget most of them, so we'll go on. Oh, actually, I think coal is one of them. I can try that. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought it was. And then we have kitchen countertop right here. It goes all the way around. And, oh, okay. That in there. And then this is my favorite part of the kitchen section. Uh... So we have an overhead, and I'm not sure if it provides light. Check. Oh, it does provide light. Okay. In older versions, it didn't. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I have a cold. Anyways, um, yeah, the older versions it did not provide light. So, so the oven's really cool. Uh, it has an infinite heat source going on, so you can put anything in there. So. Get as much steak as you want. Boom, boom, boom. Why is it not cooking? Do I need the all nine slots? Oh, oh, that's cooked steak. How did I mess that up? Oh wait. What's the raw steak then? Oh, I always forget things. Okay. If I put these in here. So as you can see, it takes a really long time. And it only does the first item slot, but it doesn't require any fuel, so you can let this go while you go mining. And then when you come back, you'll have all your delicious food, or ores, or whatever you smelted. So as you can see, boom, one stick. So, that's going to take a while. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the, like, the view of everything. So now we'll go over to the crafting recipes. So, the way that you make hedges is you just put six uh, leaves, and I put all the other hedges because you just put that kind of leaves there. And then the way you create a white fence is you just get a fence of bone meal. And then the way you create an electric fence is you make iron all the way around, like iron pants. Or 
leggings, and then you put a white fence in the middle, and that's a torch right there. The way you create a bird bath is you just create a tea out of smooth stone, and then a stone path is just two cobblestone. A doorbell is a note block and a button, and the mailbox is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six wood, and a book, and I also included the hammer there, but it does kind of miss. The way you create envelope is just two pieces of paper. The way you create a package is six pieces of paper. The way you create a tap is three stone, and then one right there, smooth stone, and then one iron ink kit on top. And the way you create a couch is just six wool. The curtain is two gold at the bottom, or two wool at the bottom, two gold, and then three wool on the top. The way you create a lamp is five uh, white wool and then obsidian and glowstone and then the way to create a TV is oak wood and then a glass pane and redstone the way you create a wooden table is you create a tea out of oak planks planks not planks <laughs> the way you create a stone table is a tea out of cobblestone not smooth stone the way you create a wooden coffee table is to make yourself a helmet the way you create a stone coffee table, stone helmet. The way you create a stereo is two note blocks, a juke box in the middle, and one iron get above that. <laughs> yeah, this is where it starts to get crazy. The way you create an oven is eight blocks of iron and a furnace in the middle. Yeah, that's a lot of iron. The way you create the ceiling light is one obsidian, one smooth stone, and one glowstone on that row. The way you create the oven overhead is two iron ingots, two at the bottom, and one glowstone in the middle of the bottom. And then the way you create the fridge is you make uh, leggings out of iron blocks, a chest in the middle, and a furnace under that. The way you create a wooden chair is you make three oak planks and the two right there and one right there. And the way you create a stone chair is the same thing, just cobblestone. And then the way you create a fire alarm is four iron ingots, one redstone, and a note block. The way you create a bedside cabinet is uh, wood leggings and two chests in the middle. The way you create a printer is you create two stone, paper in the middle, two iron blocks, one redstone in the middle, and three stone at the bottom. And the way you create a computer is iron legging leggings made of iron blocks, a redstone at the bottom, and glass paint in the middle. The way you create a Christmas tree is three oak leaves, one above that, and a flower pot. And the way you create an ink cartridge is eight stone and an ink sack in the middle. And the way you create a present is uh, eight wool and a package in the middle. And I put ink sacks to show that you can also use ink sacks for the uh, mine bay computer. But uh, ink cartridges get like last a lot longer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I went over the main things because there's so many things on this mod. So yeah. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like down below and make sure to subscribe. Uh, I, ho I hope you enjoyed my new house and everything. I'm probably gonna leave some lucky block, not lucky block. Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod items are in here. So yeah. Uh, make sure to tune in next time. Goodbye.